Hello and welcome to Power BI Zone. Today we discuss same period last year DAX function. This is going to be a continuation of the series that we are going to build for Power BI DAX tutorial. Same period last year basically does exactly the same thing which its name suggests. That is, it calculates let's say the sum of sales for the same exact period but one year behind. So what do you mean by this period? This is very generic. When you go ahead uh, and if you want to calculate, you can go ahead and have the sum for the previous one year back or you can have it from the same quarter previous year, right? Or for the same month previous year or for even the same day previous year. So we will just look at these examples through our Power BI desktop quickly. Data set that I am using it is derived from adventure works and I have deleted all the other tables. I have tried to keep it simple because we are only interested in calculating the sum of sales using the same period for last year. So uh, before we begin, let's understand the data first. Uh, intentionally, I have taken such a table which has the fiscal year beginning from June 2020. So if I say the data has FY 18, 19, 20 and 21. Right now I'll choose it only for the FY 2020 and see from where it is going to begin. If I sort this month based on ascending, see FY 2020 that is the fiscal year okay, begins from July 2019 till if I do a descending till June 20. 20. So it's not a normal January to December, December year, right? It's not a calendar year. We intentionally have taken an example of fiscal year because when you work with real time data, you will be encountering such situation and then we have to solve this. If I just go ahead and uh, do it for the sales. So this is how the sales are going to look. You are having sales for FY 2018. FY 2019 and FY 2020. Let me go ahead and zoom this. So these three years of sales you are going to have. What is our intention? So over here we want one more bar, right? Which shows the FY, the sales for the previous year. That means beside 2020, you need one more bar for 2019. Beside 2019, you need one more bar for 2018. And beside 2018, you need one more bar for 2017. Okay, so we have seen the data. Now let us see the relationship between sales and date. Now the date and sales are connected through a date key. Right? So as I was telling you in my previous video, there is something called as a date dimension that you can go ahead and create it yourself. So this particular example is based on that uh, date dimension that I was talking about. So we have created this date dimension ourselves and we are using the date key to link with the sales table. So order date key in sales table is linked with date key in the date table. This is the relationship one to many. So my date will filter my sales. Let's quickly go to the report pane and let's see how this is going to look. As usual I have given a filter for the fiscal year and in the visual, I have only drag dropped the sales amount. You can clearly see there are sales for 2018, 19 and 20 years only. Now let us go ahead and try to uh, try to write the same period last year. Actually, I have already written this because uh, same period last year, you are always going to use uh, with calculate. Now what do I want? I want my sum of sales, right? So you're, you basically want your sum of sales, but the date range sort should be of the previous year. Now let me quickly delete this so that you are able to understand the syntax of the same period last year. Okay, so you just write same period last year and it automatically gives a type ahead. You select this same period last year and it gives you the syntax. It's going to expect a date column, right? So uh, what is going to be that date column? Correct. So remember what I showed you in the relationship pin, my date dimension is connected to my sales based on the date key. Now that is already done. The key will be hidden. That won't be exposed to the end user. So 
uh, after that is done we will be using a date column from my date dimension so that particular date column is this this date column right so let me go ahead and select this date column uh, control enter and you can end my calculation and the measure is created so now I'll quickly drag and drop this measure because what do I want I want to see one more column beside 2020 sales which will give me the sales for 2019 beside 2019 which will give me the sales for 2018 and besides 2018 which will give me the sales for 2017 and so on so let us go ahead and see what's happening once I select the same period last year right so this is the kind of visual that I am going to get and this is exactly what is expected right so you can see this uh, the current let me go ahead and change the colors it previous year colors will be represented by black and this year color will be represented by let's say somewhere closer to pink or something okay great now let us let us see the sales for 2020 right so the present year sales look at sales amount which is represented by pink so 52 million is the sales for 2020 what it is telling i am getting one more column over here which is giving me the sales for fy 2019 34 million right which exactly matches with the actual sales of fy 2019 which is 34 million this is what's happening if you go to 2019 exact the this black color bar which is representing the uh, you know sales for the previous year so 24 million so FY 2019 24 million you see this is matching exactly with this value right now uh, I do not have any previous year sale for 2017 hence this is blank you're not getting any value for here also if you come to FY 21 you are not having any sales for FY 21 so the current sales so the pink bar is missing for FY 21 now the beauty of this function is you do not have to do anything it's already done in the back end so as we are calculating for this particular year if i select one year let's say fy 2020 and just do a drill see we are going to get the previous quarter as well so if i take an example of fy 2020 quarter 3 this pink value is going to give me the fy 2020 quarter 3 but the black value is going to give me the sales for fy 2019 quarter 3 similarly if i go ahead and drag at one more level i'll see the calculation for all the month as i told you that fy 2020 is beginning from july 2019 till june 2020 because it's not a calendar year it's based on a fiscal year so you are going to get the corresponding values of 2018 July and 2019 July. It will use for the year that you will use for the slicer or the months. Okay, everything should be coming from the date table itself. Do not pick the year or the month from some other table as best practice. Uh, with this, we have reached the end of the video. Hope you like it. We have tried to keep it as simple as possible and if you like it so please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon for getting the latest updates from powerbizone.com have a great day bye bye